Hi, Biggest Loser Casting. My name is Will Aguero. I'm 37 years old, and I weigh 561 pounds. And if I'm accepted, I'll be the heaviest contestant in the first nine seasons of The Biggest Loser. One time when, um, when I was in New York, uh, I was in, in a public school. I was in the bathroom, and, and four kids my age um, jumped me and beat the living snot out of me. And the teachers didn't do a thing. And other, well, two other times, um, in, in Catholic school, actually, two different Catholic schools, um, I, I was always a big kid. I mean, always obese. Um, not to this extent, but definitely, definitely obese. Um, kids would, 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 um, would grab one of my bosoms and make a puckering sound and said, you like that, right? I, I never knew how to, how to, uh, how to deal with it. So I guess I internalized a lot of it and I just got fatter and fatter. You know, eating was my, was my salvation and my curse in some ways. Uh, but it's the summer of 2010 now and, and, and I'm feeling mu much better about things. Um, I'm feeling much better around people I don't know. And I don't, I don't know why exactly, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm feeling much more confident and at peace than I ever have been in my life. And I'm just thankful for that. I think it's going to help me accomplish whatever I want to do. But even if I lose all the weight, I, I know there's still going to be um, a big empty part of me. Uh, as I mentioned, I, I haven't had a time to develop a lot of these relationships. Um, I, 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 while it's getting better, certainly, I, I'm not the most comfortable with people. I still don't have that great of a social life or the opportunity to really develop those deeper bonds. So a lot of times, even though um, I'm a lot busier, just busy work because all, all my activities, um, I, I'm still socially lonely um birthdays holidays any kind of day which is supposed to have a um a special meaning uh, they hurt a lot and i wish they just wouldn't be around because i and, and the inside i just want to cry all all, all day just because i'm always alone i mean and, and, and um they're, they're not very enjoyable I mean, it, yeah, yeah. I mean, th those days are reserved for, you know, f close friends and 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 large families. Um, neither of which I have. I've always worried how people view me, uh, if they take me seriously or not. Uh, I, I remember once my MBA program where I was in, in a classroom full. Of, of professionals, including a doctor, a couple PhDs, and people with um, multiple master's degrees, no one knew how to answer a question except me. And they all seemed surprised when I did. They all turned around in shock and awe. I've, I've always taken the easy way out, doing what I'm good at, and never really working what I need to work on to to move my life ahead. Uh, and I'll get that to that in a second. But for me, it's always been the easy way. What will cause the least amount of stress? What, what am I good at? What can I do naturally really, really well and not sweat it? I, but I don't want to be that guy anymore. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't want to be the, the guy that always takes the easy road. Um, I think I want to fight for, I want to fight for my life with school and, and groups and, and meetings, that sort of thing, and even some networking. I learned I'm really good with regimented systems. I'm great with people in, in, in a system, but with one-on-one -on -one relationships, I'm absolutely horrible. Um, I'm just a hair above a train wreck. Um, I guess I'm like a 12-year-old kid, having never really experienced a lot of relationships. So everything is, well, still pretty brand new to me. So I've got, I've got, uh, I've got the adult body, but um, sometimes the naive mentality of a kid, and that's a little frustrating when I, I never really know where to go, um, how, to, how to deal with people. 
well, I didn't connect socially with um, anyone in high school. I, I never hung out. I, I never went to parties. Nothing social with anybody. Ever in high school. Ever. Um, um, I, I know I wanted to succeed in my job. But the jobs I want, like project manager or quality analyst, requires a lot of walking and a lot of moving around. And right now I have a hard time doing that. Even my dress shirt, you know. Um, I work in a very conservative environment. I uh, can't even roll my, well, wear a dress shirt properly. You know, it doesn't really fit. It doesn't even fit. And um, the only places in town that make special orders, they don't make special orders in my size. And, yeah, just it's, I, I can't even dress the part. I'm so big. It's kind of, kind of depressing, really. And, and I'm hoping, um, if, if I can accept it on the show, whether I win or not, I, I can use that opportunity to, really help people. I, I need that drive. I, I need Bob and Jillian to yell at me a little bit just to give me that focus, a little, little raw, little raw energy, which right now I'm lacking a little bit. So yeah, I, I definitely need to be on the ranch. I know how to eat. Well, um, I don't necessarily do it, but I know how to eat well. You know, I can read a book. I'm, I'm educated. That sounds pretty arrogant, I'm sorry. But I can read a book. If I had a chance to talk to the people of America about losing weight and, and getting fit, I'd have to say just do it. I, this is corny, I, I know. But don't let so many years pass you by. Don't let 20 years um, of, of, of high school frustration pass you by. Don't let 40 years of you being depressed um, at, at the depressed and angry at the world um, pass you by. Um, do whatever you can to to make your dreams come true now. You know, work through it. You know, hard work. It's definitely worth it. I I know because I've never really worked hard, and not working hard is not worth it. Um, right now, well, back in two thousand two or three. I was diagnosed with sleep apnea, and I have, well, I, I wake up about 140 times per hour. So yeah, I wake up all the time, two times a minute. So I'm never really asleep. That's why I have to wear this lovely piece of equipment that keeps me alive. And this is how I breathe at night. So in 2007, I was part of a gym, uh, and they had a Biggest Loser program. Uh, the, the trainers who led the program, you know, health, fitness professionals, didn't want me to do anything physical because they were afraid that I couldn't handle the physical part. Um, so basically, they denied me entry into their health and wellness program, their biggest loser program. They wanted me to take a fitness test on a treadmill, which cost 2,500 bucks the hospital. I didn't have insurance then, so I couldn't do it, and so I had to leave the program. They were fine with me attending the classroom component, but anything physical, they didn't want me to be involved with, which I thought was kind of ironic and hypocritical at the same time. Um, I know I can do this. Oh yeah. Of, of that, I'm very, very confident.